Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla, and today we are in the city of Crater Lake, where we are going to be working on something fun today. We're going to be moving in the direction of one of the new content creator packs, the mid-century modern one, and we are going to be utilizing the Art Deco content creator pack. And I kind of feel like this content creator pack is a little underutilized. You do tend to see some of the buildings kind of spread out throughout your city, but there's a lot of them that don't ever really get used. And in our last episode, we did use a couple of them for our mall or two episodes ago, um, but it's going to be fun. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And so on the last episode, we built out this awesome neighborhood over here. And I got to say, I really like them despite this uh, vibrant green that happens with these hedges. Um, but I think that this commercial center is honestly probably one of the best that I've ever made. I, I really like it. I like how I'm starting to use these uh, like retaining walls to create these um, like ledges and stuff like that. I really feel like it captures a really cool look in some of the cities, especially with a lot of the builds. Um, but then we did this awesome little bus deep over here with some organic and local produce just to create like a little shopping center place for people to go. And we got a fountain with some uh, community seating over here. We did some condos slash apartments over here. Just a little more affordable housing for people. Maybe these would be like your starter homes. And then they eventually kind of graduate into one of these bigger homes. And uh, I think it looks really good. You know, we did this Home Depot too. And, and so another thing that I did, I looked at our traffic. Our traffic had gotten pretty bad. I, I really hadn't focused on it in a while. And so I added in a roundabout over here and then did full lane mathematics with traffic manager and I went in here to our lane connectors and just kind of connected this all up. I ended up having to turn off um, despawning I'd, or I had to enable it again just because um, our city's getting so big it just it runs so slow and so I do routinely turn it off to just to see where our, our traffic is at but for right now um, it's just something that we needed to do without. And so I did also add in another bus line that goes all the way around here. And then I optimized a lot of our bus lines. I did another bus line that went down to our train station right here, went all the way around up here, and it actually is getting a ton of use. Now our train station is just getting crazy. And it's kind of funny, we were having issues with one of our train lines too. I ended up having to delete the train station and replace it because it actually wasn't allowing the trains to go from our big uh, end of line station over here to over there. It's kind of weird. Um, but now we're getting just a huge amount of people. It's like, I mean, hundreds. So if we go ahead and grab that line and just check it out. Yeah, so all these trains are pretty much full now. I did also add in another train just to kind of um, satisfy that demand. And so this is definitely a big area for our traffic. If we go ahead and let it play, um, this is it's running better now. We had a huge backup. Um, another issue is just our train our cargo depot right here. Um, it would be better if we had like zigzags back going back and forth just to allow the queue to kind of extend further. But I just I really don't like doing that because I feel it's really unrealistic. Um, but we were just getting huge backups over here. Traffic was at like 50%. It was really crazy. Um, but now it's much better. This whole road was like backing up over here. It was just it was really crazy. Um, but now we we just we're you know we're at 78 and we keep fluctuating between 78 and 79. We're at a, a reasonable level now. Um, a lot of this is just expected, like you really can't do anything about a lot of this red. Um, it's just your normal traffic that you're going to experience within a city. But now I do feel like it looks a lot better. And so um, let's go ahead and jump right into today's build. And so what we're going to be doing is actually something crazy. So this is going to extend over probably a couple episodes. Um, so the goal is to have this come down here. We're going to do an art, art deco district with probably some mansion neighborhoods up here. I got some mansions off the Steam Workshop. I think it's going to be fun. And so we're going to hopefully incorporate the new content creator packs here soon. I'm not sure when they're going to release it. Just keeps, keeps saying coming soon. But then I want to extend this island out and we're going to be doing a big space launch facility as well with another base over here. Um, and I feel like I definitely learned a little bit from my Canalville base. It was a fun, fun episode. If you're interested, um, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. Um, we did a huge base over there, naval base, with an airfield and a huge harbor and everything. It was really cool. And so um, I think this is going to be fun. I think this whole area is going to be really fun because then we're going to be able to do like a space launch viewing area over here. And kind of like a Cape Canaveral, you know, where you can see the, sh the shuttles uh, take off and just kind of have a good time with your with the family and everything. And so, so the first thing we're going to do is grab the picker mod. We are going to grab this. And we are going to go into the freeform tool. And we're going to grab that one on the right. Let's go ahead and turn back on snapping. And we are going to come up this way. Let's turn on this snapping as well. And we will curve this around. So I want to be mindful of the terrain over here. So I want this to go like right here. 
And then what we're going to do is have this curve back. Let's actually turn off anarchy so that we don't get trees all over everything. everything. So we'll go like that. And then I'm just going to upgrade this real quick just to get those trees off of there. And so now what we'll do is jump into the parallel road tool and we will go all the way down. And that's within the network multi tool. If nobody knows, we will come up here and uh, sometimes it doesn't allow you to go all the way down. So you just got to kind of choose a path that's a little bit closer and so now we will come up over here and hold that plus sign all the way until it gets to that circle over there and voila and so now we will hit enter and a lot of times it connects it sometimes it doesn't um looks like it connected at this time perfect and so now we do want these to be kind of level with each other so i think what i'm going to do is go ahead and grab our move it mod we will grab that point and we will control h up here just so that we can make sure, of course I didn't, so we will go like this. It looks like they're the same level, and then let's go all the way down to the end and make sure these are the same level as well. So we'll grab that control H right there. Yeah, it looks like it is. And so now we're gonna jump into the network multi-tool, the slope mode, and we will go ahead and make sure that these are perfect. A lot of times with the parallel tool, they are, and so you really don't need to do this, but it kind of helps out, especially since we adjusted those heights. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And this is really going to help us capture an awesome look in here. I want to create some uh, different heights and uh, just really do do some fun stuff in here. And so that looks like it's about level. It actually still looks like that one on the left side is still a little bit higher. No, you know, what? it looks level. And so now what we'll do is jump into our soften terrain tool and we will come in here, increase our brush size just a smidge, and then we will come all the way down. And the reason we're doing this is because it's just a little, really easy way to make sure that that middle section is the correct height. And I really want to have um, some different heights in here. And I want to try to minimize the amount of time that I, I mess with the terrain. And so I think that that's pretty good. We're going to do like a ledge over here. And so now what I want to do is jump into a four unit road and we want to do like a coastal road in here. And we'll probably actually bring back the sand just a smidge. We don't need to do a lot, just enough for us to be able to create a road in there and then leave some room for us to have some nice beachfront access. Um, one of the cool things with the Art Deco kind of look is, you know, one of the references that I'm using and probably one of the most prominent ones is Miami. So Miami Beach has all those uh, Art Deco buildings on the waterfront and it's a really popular place to go to. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of what I'm going to use as a reference. There's honestly not a lot of Art Deco buildings available on the Steam Workshop and they're within the content creator pack. I believe it's only like 22. So we're actually going to come in here and we will search this up. Let's go ahead and turn on that other tab as well. Go like this and then go in here and go to required DLC CCP and we will come in here and go all the way down to Art Deco. And so these are all the buildings that are available part of the Art Deco pack. So three, four, five, six, seven, so 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 19 buildings. It's not bad and you can kind of see a lot of them are unused some of them are actually used quite a bit like the you know the cinema you you see a lot in commercial areas um, but then a lot of these you know i'm surprised this one's not used too you see this a lot in like standard low density residential they're really cool and then our other one um i got pretty much all the ones that i could get off the steam workshop and so i got a lot of these little homes and then i got some offices i got some taller buildings too which i uh, think it's gonna be fun we're gonna dive into a little bit later and so back to what we were doing, let's go into a four unit road. We're going to grab a nice avenue with trees, and then I'm going to go and use the parallel tool again, but we're not going to go all the way down. I want to go to probably like this point right here. And then what we're going to do is actually have it branch off and connect up with this road down here. And so we will have this come down and probably connect up just because we really want to create some access over here. If we only have this couplet as access, we're going to have a ton of issues. And so we're going to end up extending this road as well and really just create a, a couple different ways for people to get over here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hold that plus sign until I get all the way out to probably the edge over here. Okay, and so I feel like that's probably pretty good. This is a little bit further than I would wanted it to wanted it to be, but I think what we're going to do is go ahead and curve it in. I feel like that would probably be good and it's going to help create a, a nice little look for this area. So if we grab those, use the picker mod, grab our road again, even though it was right there. And so we will go straight and have it curve in like right here. Yeah, I feel like this is great because then we can have this kind of loop around. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. And so let's go ahead and connect this road up now. Use the picker mod, grab our little uh, couplet road. And we will try to have this connect up here a little with that other road. Yes, yeah, so we'll go like right there. Perfect. Nice. And so now we have a nice curve coming around. It does look like maybe we can make this a little bit better, but we're not going to mess around with it right now. And so what we'll do is jump into a two unit road and I want to do the standard one with trees. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be perfect. 
And so what we wanna do is just do a couple little paths across. We wanna provide access once again. So we'll go one, two, three. I feel like that's probably good. We'll do the same thing over here. One, two, three, go across. Let's go ahead and turn off anarchy so that we can get, make sure that our slopes are correct. So we'll go like that, go like that. And you know, that's probably good right there. And so now I do wanna jump into the moving mod, grab that and level these out. It kind of sloped them down a little bit and I really don't want them to do that. So we'll grab this, go like that. Yeah, perfect. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the soften terrain tool, just to kind of fill in that gap. I really wanna create a nice ledge in here, something like we did with the casinos, but a little less uh, per like grandiose, I guess. And so now we will grab this and use the free form tool. And I want to go straight. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks like it might be good right there. So if we just go straight off of that, how is that gonna look? So if we go like right there, and then curve this up. Try to line it up with your eye. And there we go, perfect. And so now we have created another avenue that actually does have freeway access over here, and that is just fantastic. And so now we will come in here, and we don't, we could do the softened terrain tool again. I don't think that we're gonna need to. And so we're gonna split this up into sections. So we will have this be our Art Deco kind of tourism waterfront area. This will probably be more of a resort area. So we're gonna do a couple really big hotels, and then we're gonna do just low density housing back here, probably really uh, prominent houses, like big houses. So now I do wanna come back here and go ahead and bring this across. And I want it to create a tunnel. So we want this to be on unmodded. And I want it to come all the way, like right here. I want it to tr like kind of line up with that. So if we go like right here, yeah, you know what, that actually looks pretty good right there. Let's look at that. So we have the tunnel coming in and then we have the tunnel coming out. And I actually really like that. It's like right off the cliff. I think that looks super cool. And so now we will have this come up over here and we could just, looks like we could just connect that up. Yeah, you know, that actually works out and it leaves a little room for us to maybe do like a destination over here. We'll do like a big hotel or something like that, something fun. And so now let's look at that slope just to make sure that we're good. So if we come up over here and bring this all the way back, so we have a little bit of a bump right there, nothing too crazy though, but let's go ahead and hold shift, come all the way over here, and let's see how it looks going all the way back. So you know what, that actually looks pretty good. It looks like our only little bump is this guy right here. Um, it did raise it up just a smidge, but not enough for me to worry about it. Um, I feel like that is probably good. And then we'll probably just do this just because we can. Nice, and so now we have created some awesome access over here, straight to the freeway and also to this neighborhood. So if anybody wanted to you know, do a day trip to the Art Deco area, they could. And so now let's extend out a couple of our roads. So we will grab this, have this go all the way across, and we'll probably have it stop right there, and I wanna curve it in. So we will grab this, have it curve in right there, nice. And so we've created a nice space in here where maybe we could do like a park with some small shops around the outside. I feel like that could be fantastic. So now we are starting to get up into the hills, so I think we're gonna leave this for our homes. I don't know if we're gonna do that on this episode, but we shall see. And so the first thing I wanna do is start looking at some of our Art Deco buildings. So if we come in here, so we're under our Art Deco Content Creator Pack listing. So these are just all the buildings that we have within the Content Creator Pack. So we could place them off of this road or we could do another secondary road and kind of have like a top tier, bottom tier. And I feel like that could actually look really cool. So let's go ahead and jump back into our two unit road. And what we're gonna do is curve this down and then probably run it parallel to that road. So if I go back into the parallel tool once again, we'll grab this, go all the way down, probably to like right, yeah, you know what, we'll, um, we'll have it go all the way down here, why not? And then that way what we can do is bring this out enough to where we can kind of keep a ledge and have like an upper and a lower section to this. I feel like that would just look fantastic. So now our Art Deco buildings are going to be pretty much right on the water, which is going to be fantastic. And so now I'm going to go through and grab all of our nodes and just lower this down because I really don't want that huge cliff right there. I feel like that would just look terrible. Okay, so I got it all smoothened out and uh, I got it all smoothed out. And I didn't end up having to use the slope tool I, uh, because we're on a slope right here having it all at one level was just not practical and so what we're going to do now is jump in here and we're going to level out some sections so i want to create an upper level in some areas but then i want to create a more prominent lower level in some areas so we're going to come up here go like this raise this up and we could even go out a little bit further yeah that feels like it's really not that far no you know what that actually it looks okay so maybe we will just extend this across and then what we're going to do is do a retaining wall with some stairs down and then we'll do some more buildings up here so this would just be like the upper lower section i think it's going to look cool and we could just do a key wall across 
I just don't know if it's going to capture that same look, but maybe we'll check it out. We'll see how this looks together. So we will come in here and go to our famous stone key decorated. Oh, well, we could do the old one. We'll do this stone key fence decorated. I feel like this is good. And so now I'm going to do the same thing. Parallel tool, probably start it right there. Come all the way down. So we'll go like right there. And then let's go through and flip any pieces that are the wrong direction. It shouldn't be a lot because there is a hill. So you know what? I feel like that actually looks pretty good. And we could even extend this out a little bit further. So if we try that again, let's um, go from right here and have it go all the way out there. Yeah, you know what? I feel like this is going to be fantastic. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. And so now we just need to flip this piece around and then let's um, level out a couple, couple little sections for us. So if we come like right here and then go all the way down. So now we're going to have an awesome little upper and a lower section here. And it's really going to create an awesome look in here. And this is something that you do see in cities as well. So we will come in here, especially on hilly terrain. Um, you see a lot of use of retaining walls and stuff like that. Um, and it really helps to create a cool look. And so now let's start looking at some of our Art Deco buildings. So let's go into find it and we will start placing these down. And I want them to be on the waterfront. So we'll come in here, place that one right there. Let's go ahead. And so I don't want them to be like the same buildings right next to each other because we don't have a lot of buildings. We're obviously going to have some that are the same kind of close to each other, but I really want to give them a nice gap so that we'll have like some walking paths for like rollerbladers or people who are just kind of hanging out on the beach. Yeah, I feel like this is already looking really good. So we will come in here and continue our trend across. Yeah, it's the same building. So we'll come over here. Some of these are houses too, which I don't mind, but we do need to be kind of careful that we're not uh, just placing down a ton of houses here because I really want to capture more of a commercial look in here. So I think we're going to do two of these because I really like the look of these. And then what we'll do is jump into repaint and go to a more yellow. Now I want it to be, yeah, we'll go like a little white yellow. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks really cool. And so now let's go back in here. We're going to do our cinema right there. Fantastic. And then let's jump into our other Art Deco buildings. These are the ones that I got off the Steam Workshop. And one of the cool ones is actually there's uh, this. So Ray Move has a bunch of these ones, which I really like them. Um, because they look similar to each other, we don't want to just plaster a ton of them. Like you can kind of see they, they all look very similar to each other. Um, so we're going to kind of, you know, splatter them around instead of just doing a bunch of them. And so now let's come in here. We have some bigger buildings too, but I don't think we're going to put them on this side. So I think we're already at a point where we probably need to start copying some of them or doing more houses. So if we go like that, no, you know, I don't like that. That low density house, I think looks kind of weird. So we, ooh, we got a little office building, which I think is cool. So let's uh, probably start replicating some of them again. Now we will come in here. Let's start off at the beginning. Yeah, we'll go like that. Fantastic. And then let's um, jump back into our content creator pack, start replicating some of these. So we'll do another ice cream parlor. Maybe those are like competing ice cream parlors. We'll probably do two of those. We'll say that those are part of the same complex. I feel like that's good. A little laundromat. And then we'll come in here, do a couple of these. Maybe we'll do three of those. Yeah, I feel like that actually looks pretty good. And then we can do a couple more of these. Maybe it's the same company that kind of purchased it out. And then I think what we're going to do is um, move these down just a smidge into a plaza in the middle. I feel like that could look fantastic. And then let's actually paint both of these white since they're kind of part of the same building in here. So we'll go like that. Perfect. Now, you know, because those other ones are white, it actually doesn't look as good. And so if we paint them both blue, yeah, you know what? I feel like that looks a lot better. This whole Art Deco area is already coming together pretty nicely. We do have a couple houses, but honestly, it still captures a nice look. I like our little cinema. We've got some awesome buildings in here. So I think we're going to place a couple more of those. We need to do a couple more of these. We will come in here and uh, uh, place, what is it? The bigger ones. So let's do these. And initially I wanted to do like a whole complex of these, but... I felt like it kind of looked a little weird, so I decided against it. So now let's come in here, place one more of these, and then let's um, switch back to these, do another laundromat. Eh, how far is our cinema? So our cinema's all the way over there, so maybe we'll do another cinema. This is a competing cinema. cinema, cinema. And then let's, um, I think that that's probably good. We could have this extend out over here as well. So I think we will do that and have it kind of swoop around and probably end right here. Because then that way we can do a really cool like beachfront area, possibly even like a little concert area. That could be fun. And so we will come over here and uh, follow this around now. And I think I'm going to do the, the parallel tool just because I, I know that it's going to be kind of an issue for us. 
So if we go all the way from here, grab our intersections and then hold that plus sign all the way out to, let's go ahead and connect it up right there, why not? And then let's hold this out until we get to that circle. Okay, so we're like right in the middle of that, perfect. So now what we'll do is go ahead and remove this back. Let's connect that up now. So we'll connect this up, go like that, perfect. And then let's um, bring this back one and then we will curve this in. Yeah, you know what, that actually doesn't look bad. So then we will go into the slope tool, grab this and then come all the way down here to our first one at the bottom. It's actually this one and then hit enter. I think that looks good. And I like that it's the inroad too. So these would be all the people kind of coming in though um, anybody coming out would be facing that one way, which would kind of suck. But So then now what we'll do is go in here and soften some of this up. Remember, we don't want to do a lot of it. We just want to make it more buildable. So if we go like that, I feel like that's probably good. And then let's go back to our buildings. So then we will come in here and let's go to probably our other ones, our workshop ones. Yeah, I feel like these are good. So then we will place a couple of these down, go like this. Let's do a another little baby one and then let's um could do some homes too no we'll hold off on the homes so this one's actually kind of cool and it's not too big it is definitely a little bit big but it's not too big so then if we go like that let's go ahead and change these colors and see if we can get a little bit better of a look out of these so if we go to like a blue you know that actually looks pretty cool so we got like a blue and a yellow and those would be obviously part of like the same complex and so now let's go back in here. I got this one as well, though I don't like the color of the roofing on it. I feel like it just looks a little weird. And so we will come in here, do another one of these. Yeah, we'll go like right here. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and move this over. So let's do a couple more of these. We'll do probably two of them. Building must be placed roadside. This is roadside. Go ahead and make sure that we have zoning off of this. Yeah, we're a little bit off. Not much. Looked like it was only a couple. So then we will go like that. And I think we're going to move these in a little bit closer together. And so now let's jump into our content creator pack. Let's do another ice cream parlor. People love ice cream. And so you really can't have too much of those. So then now we will go like this and then let's move this over. And it did have parking in there. That's why it's kind of like just cement like that. I, I took away the parking. So let's do a couple of these. We'll go like that. Nice. And then let's um, go back through. Maybe we'll do. I mean, we have so many of these already, but <laughs> so we will go ahead and place a couple of these. We'll do another little plaza. Man, I really like this. So it's got the two blue. So we got a yellow. Let's do um, some greens with these ones just because, you know, they chose the same architect, but they're not they're not the same company. So we'll come in here. Yeah, look at that color. Just an awesome green. And we'll do the same thing for that one. Fantastic. I really like that pastel -y color. I feel like that looks cool. And so, you know what? I feel like that is pretty good for a little Art Deco row. And so we would um, want to get some stuff on this side of the build, side of the road. I really want to do some apartments. I have some kind of Art Deco-y apartments in there. But I feel like this is a good start. I really like the look of this. And so now let's go in here and let's search up those Art Deco-y apartments. So we'll come in here. And I believe, yeah, it's these ones right here. Perfect. So let's see if we can get some of these on the other side of the road. So if we turn on Anarchy, what can we get in here? So let's go ahead and place this down. And then we will come up over here. Uh, so this one's a little too big. So let's come in here. Yeah, this one. Perfect. So I think what we're going to do is do like more of a retro kind of uh, um, condominium complex in here. I'm thinking something, you know, like that you would see in one of those old like 60s movies. I just feel like that would be cool with a little where they throw like the pool parties and stuff like that. And so maybe this is just one company that owns them all. But I really like the pastel colors on this as well. I feel like they look fantastic. So it looks like I got a couple more under here. And for some reason, I just they didn't show up before. But it looks like, man, look at this one. This one's actually really cool. That one's like, a, maybe we'll put that on this side too. So we'll come up over here and we'll place this like right there. Fantastic. And that way we can place a couple more of these. But I had some other buildings that I just can't seem to find right now. So if we, ooh, so this one is cool. Yeah, look at that. And this is one that you can kind of see being in like an art deco kind of area. So we will come up over here. Let's go like that. And then let's place a couple more of these. Yeah, I like the look of this already. So then... I think for this side, we'll do like a little park area, but I feel like this is probably good. So we're going to do some pools and really just clean all this up. So what I want to do is first off, paint this all as a park area. So we will come in here and let's do our whole waterfront area as a park area. And this is because we want to place down um, some gazebos and then also just provide access to a lot of the buildings. Like I have a couple beach shacks and stuff that I got and we really want to... Uh, Make sure that people can kind of walk around and get used to them and stuff like that or utilize them. And so I feel like that is good right there. And so before we uh, actually start jumping into detailing, I want to finish off this top section too. 
So I really want to get a couple little apartment complexes similar to down here, but on a grander scale. So I think we will jump in here and go back to our apartments or our deco and we will choose the bigger buildings now if we can. Where are they? Yeah, so these ones. And I wanna do like a really big pool area in the middle. So we're gonna go like that. And then I got this awesome pool. So if we go like this, search a pool, this Oasis pool by King Leno. I just, I really like the look of this, especially with the curves and stuff. It reminds me of a very 60s kind of style. And so now let's go like that. So we got two buildings on either side. It would be great if we could get one more. I feel like this is just not enough. So maybe we'll put that right on the front and then let's see if we can get just a couple more in here. Cause if we could just get a couple of those small ones in here. Oh yeah, so if we go like this and then go like this, perfect. And so now it kind of blocks off the pool area as well. So you'd be able to see the pool from the front kind of reminds me of those older uh, kind of apartments as well where you'd have the fence around the pool you kind of drive in and then the pool's literally right in the front and so we are going to do a small road around so we'll grab a one unit road and we will connect it up like right here have it go around and let's go ahead and turn off snapping so that we can get our perfect angle out of that and we will loop it around here have it go like right there and then have it connect up to the road again yeah perfect look at that and so let's um go ahead and level this out we definitely messed it up a little bit so let's control h right there perfect this is just fantastic this is already looking so good this definitely reminds me of those those older hotels like i was saying with the we'll put a fence around the outside and so you'd have like your hotel parking in here and and uh and all that and so i think this is good we're gonna do some trees around just make it look really good make this look fantastic and so now i do want to jump into one of our bigger buildings and this is the one that i was thinking of so let's actually make sure that we got zoning off of this um again the parallel tool for some reason a lot of times it just kind of messes up the zoning um so we'll go like that make sure that we got zoning back here as well go like this yeah fantastic and so what i'm thinking is if we can place this like right here and then do like a big plaza on either side i feel like this would just be fantastic so maybe this is just like a really huge company in the in the day and and they let's go ahead and remove this lock and they purchased this whole piece of land for them to uh, have this building we could even possibly put two let's see how two of them look mm, i don't know if two of them look good and so i think we will do two i feel like this would be awesome and then we'll do a big plaza in the middle so we'll go ahead and turn these this way and then we'll do like a, a really cool uh, fountain and stuff and then like a valet area maybe these are Office buildings, they look like little hotels though because they have um, like pools on the roof and stuff. And so now let's come in here and we are gonna do a one-way road and we're going to connect it up like right here. We're gonna go like that and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna go like this, perfect. And then that way we can kind of move this back just a smidge, not too much, but then we can um, go ahead and curve this in. So if I go like this and then go this way and then curve it in, perfect. And then that way what we can do is jump into the move it mod just kind of level these up a little bit grab our heights make sure they're the same height as that and it looks like they are i don't know how uh, we kind of messed up on this one. Oh, so we we need to grab them all so if i grab that one grab this one grab that one grab this one and then just control each right there perfect and so now we have an awesome little courtyard area for our two eastern buildings and i feel like this is gonna be fantastic so now if we come in here, let's go ahead and place down some decorations. So if we go to fountain, so I think what we're gonna do is jump into the move it mod and go to our import and grab our small circle fountains. And what we're gonna do is place a bunch of these. So actually not a bunch, maybe we'll do a couple squares. I feel like that'll probably be better. So we'll go to square fountain. Let's go ahead and place that there. And then we're gonna go ahead and copy and then place that there. And then we're going to grab that and we will control each right there. And then let's go ahead and jump into the marquee selection tool, grab all of this and then control each right there. Perfect. Nice. And so I do want to kind of just fix this up a little bit. It looks like our water's just a smidge off and it looks like we have a bush right there too. So we'd want to get rid of that. And so let's go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. It looks like our angles are a little off. And so now we will jump into planter networks and do a planter network going around. So we will turn off snapping, come up over here and go all the way around. Go like right there. Yeah, perfect. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. This is already looking really cool. I like these little planters too. It does look like we did this one the wrong direction though. Wow, I can't even believe that. Yeah, we did. So I'm going to uh, actually, you know what? I think that that actually, that looks a little bit better than on this side. So maybe we'll go ahead and flip this one around. Yeah, there we go. 
Nice. And I feel like that actually looks really good. I like the look of that. And so now we will come in here and probably do some uh, little concrete pieces. So we'll come in here, go to uh, curb and get some of these small little squares. So if we just search for them, yeah, if we go like this, this one's actually going to be a little bit too big. I want to have the smaller one. Yeah. So if we go to cement square smaller and the reason we're going to have these is because they kind of hold up planters a little bit and I really like the look of them. So if we go ahead and increase that spacing, go to like 10, and then we will go ahead and bring these across. Yeah, you know, we'll actually just do two. So we will go like this, bring this sideways, and then line this up. So we'll go like right there. Yeah, I feel like that looks good. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And then we'll do the same thing on this side and right here as well. And then let's go ahead and move those over just a smidge, not a lot. So we'll grab that. And then we'll come up over here, do the same thing. Then we'll do the same thing here, grab this. And then we'll do the same thing here, grab that. Perfect. And then we will go back into planters and find the small planter. Yeah, this small circle planter actually fits right in the middle of this concrete piece, which is what I was trying to do. So we're going to go ahead and turn off anarchy or turn on anarchy. Go ahead and place these in all of our little concrete pieces. And this just really helps to kind of accent the concrete a little bit more. Because I think we're going to we're going to end up filling this all in with concrete and probably decals just to kind of clean it up a bit does look like this uh, curve is not really the same as this one. So I think we will go ahead and fix this real quick. That's going to kind of bother me. Yeah, you know, that looks a little bit better. It's still not perfect, but honestly, it's, I don't know if we're going to get it to be perfect. I do want to go ahead and move these back just to smidge those so that we can get them a little bit further into this pocket. And that way we can create a nice little walkway in here. Nice. And so now what we'll do is jump into our trees and just go to this young linden, just kind of place them on those little planters real quick. And then I think we're going to do some decals in here just to kind of clean this up. So we'll go into surface painter, paint this all in as concrete, go like this. Fantastic. Get rid of that. And then let's jump into decals. So we'll go in here and delete that, go into decals and just kind of search one that search up for one that we really like. Okay. And so now we have placed down the decals. I did have to kind of straighten up these a little bit. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and place down some more planters just to kind of help line this up. We're going to get out of decals, go into here. What I want to do is just grab a couple of our square ones. So we will go, oh, I think this large one's going to be a little bit too big. Yeah, we want the small one. So if I grab this, or maybe medium one, and we will go all the way across. So we will grab our medium one, go all the way across. And then, you know what, I feel like that looks good, but we could, let's go ahead and place it. And then what we're gonna do is go in here and delete a couple of them. So we'll go like that, we'll go like this, and then let's go ahead and grab them all now. Hold shift down, and then let's move these over just a smidge, and of course I, I have a decal over here. Move these over, and then let's go ahead and copy it and put it on the other side as well. Yeah, we'll go like that, fantastic. And then that way what we can do is go ahead and place down some small bushes in there just to kind of make it look a little bit better. So then I'm gonna go ahead and drop our spacing down to two, go ahead and hit enter and just place down a couple bushes, nothing too crazy. Nice, and so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop down some benches and then do some lights, probably clean this up a little bit. It looks like this is just a little bit off. And so I'm gonna go ahead and place down some benches and probably do some lights and stuff, just finish up uh, the detailing for this area. Okay, and here we go, our awesome little plaza. We got benches, we got an awesome little space in here. I think that looks really cool though. I like those two buildings, especially um, being kind of on that hill a little bit. I think that looks fantastic. And so now let's jump in here and look up a hotel. Um, we're kind of running out of uh, our deco-y kind of buildings. So I want to place down some buildings that are still going to kind of match up. So I like this Miami Campton Epic Hotel. So I think this looks really good. So this is a residence inn. So if we go ahead and place this like right there, how does that look? You know, that actually looks fantastic. I really like that, especially across the street from this building. And so now let's go in here. Ooh, this one is cool too. Yeah, this one is great. So I think we'll actually place this one back here and we will fill that space in. So we have another residence in as well. Could go ahead and place two of them right next to each other. So it looks like we have our entrances off this backside. You know what, I actually really like this. So we could turn this into a whole little compound as well. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and do a road in the middle now. So we'll grab a two unit road we will grab this, go ahead and turn on snapping. So control S and we will have this come all the way back, go like this. And then let's go ahead and move this out so that we can get a little pathway in there. We'll go like that. And then let's um, actually connect this one up. So we're going to grab this road and connect it up with our couplet. We'll go like that. Yeah, fantastic. And then I think we're going to turn this into a big pool area. Marriott's especially tend to have uh, just really big areas. And so I think this would be a nice touch. 
We'll probably do a little bridge across too, so people staying in this one would still be able to get to it. And so let's go ahead and do a small path now, just kind of hook this up and we will go like this, grab this, go like that, perfect. And then let's do a small path over here as well, nice. And we could have actually just done that path going down. I feel like that would actually be better. So if we grab this and come this way, yeah, fantastic. So we kind of double, it fills it in with concrete, but then also does provide walkability. Okay, so I think we're gonna do a small pool area in here because of the way that these buildings look though, I wanna get some other buildings over here. I feel like if we didn't put some more buildings over here, we'd kind of do a disservice to this area. So if we grab this, let's go ahead and see how this looks over here. Cause this is kind of more of a historical hotel too. It has that vibe like Peabody. So we'll go ahead and place that. Let's see if we can place this over here because this would just look fantastic if we could get it right here. Yeah, if it places right there, yeah, it just it gets so close over here. I don't know how that would look. Oh, you know what? I actually think that looks pretty good. So we will go ahead and place that right there and then let's do some pathways in here. So we will jump into our paths and let's do a pathway right here. We'll come back and then let's do another pathway up here and we'll do like a little plaza area, make it into a nice walking area. And I really like that. I actually think that looks really good. Them being like right next to each other, a little art deco area. I like the big sign on top too. I think that looks fantastic. And so I think for the middle section, we're gonna use this for our transportation. We're going to have our Metro come down the middle and then have a, quite a few stations probably. And then let's actually do a big hotel over here. So this would be like more of a modern hotel. So if we go ahead and place this huge one, I mean, oh yeah, look at this guy. This looks fantastic. I really like the look of this too. It, it definitely, it's a Chinese model, so there are Chinese writings on it, but man, I think this looks awesome. I like the details on it too. I think this looks really cool. And so let's go ahead and raise that up just so that we can get a little bit more level. And then I think this is gonna be a resort. So we are going to go ahead and turn this this way. And then let's go ahead and copy it and do another one. So we're gonna grab this, come over this way, place that like right there. Yeah, you know what? I think this looks fantastic. So we'll go like that. And then let's, um, where's the front of this? So I think the front is off of this side. So if we do a big like valet area here with probably some parking in the middle, I think that would look good. So we'll go into a one unit road, go to a one way and let's um, have this come up this way and then connect up right here and then loop around. So it looks like we're just a little bit off. So if we grab that, come this way, connect that up and then come across this way and connect up like right there. How does that look? So if we grab these now, let's go ahead and grab all of our nodes and then control H right there. So it looks like this one's a little off. We'll grab that one. And then let's go ahead and connect this road up. It looks like I, I didn't connect it up for some reason. And then let's go ahead and switch all of our roads around to make sure that they're facing the right way. Yeah, this looks cool. I really like this. And this is definitely something that you do see where they replicate the kind of look of an area. So I think that this would be realistic. We do need to uh, get that off of that backside though. So let's go ahead and go like that. Yeah, there we go. And then let's, um, I think we can get a parking garage right in the middle. This would just be fantastic if we could. So we'll go ahead and move this down. Yeah, so now we got space for some more pools, maybe walking areas. A lot of times you get like crazy amenities with these, like maybe a small zoo or something like that. Um, but I think we want to get a small parking garage in the middle. Yeah, so if we grab this, can we fit? I think we can maybe fit two. So if we grab that, go ahead and grab that. Place that right there. Let's go ahead and turn this one. And let's go ahead and turn this one. I mean, it's definitely tight. So we would have to go like right there and right here, which doesn't look bad. I mean, that doesn't look terrible except for that top section. How does that look? So do we clip over here? We don't, so we're good over there. So we are clipping just a smidge over here. Okay, so I think that that actually kind of works. Maybe we will just move this in a smidge. We'll go like that, just cause I don't want that awning kind of overhanging there. Yeah, there we go. And then let's um, grab both of them and then control each right there, bring it up just a little bit. Nice, I feel like this looks awesome. And so now we have a big parking garage in here. And so we would need to have access to this. So let's go ahead and do a small road in. So we'll have this connect up like right there. This one is already connected. We would just need to, to connect up this road. So now let's go ahead and move the building back just a smidge, bring that up and then straighten this out. And then we'll do like a big, uh, maybe taxi area right here. I feel like that could be good. And so we'll probably do, uh, we'll do a big grounds for this. I think that looks really cool though. That's a really big hotel. Like they got four towers. Um, this would definitely have came in later. Like once 
Art Deco became like a really big tourist attraction. Um, they decided to build that big hotel. And so I think that this looks really cool. We've already done so much. Like, man, we have done a lot. So we got a small little apartment building complex in here. We got an apartment building complex down here. We have a ton of little businesses and places to live down here with a couple little plaza opportunities. And then we still need to do our beachfront area and possibly do a little concert area. And so um, now what I want to do is go ahead and draw in this metro line before we uh, kind of get, get too far ahead of ourselves. So let's go in here and uh, actually do the stations first. So if we have this come down here, let's do a station right there and let's um, do a station right here. Yeah, there we go. And then let's go back into our metro tracks and we will go to freeform. Let's go ahead and connect these up. So we'll go like that. And then of course it was on force ground piece. So let's um, upgrade these to elevated pieces. I feel like that would be pretty important. So we'll go like this all the way down and then let's um, grab this, go into elevated. We are still there. And then let's go to complete connection mode or create connection mode. And we will grab this, grab that. And so now what we're gonna do is jump into the freeform tool and we will follow this road all the way down the middle as best we can. We're a little off because of those stations, so I'm not too worried if it's a smidge off. So then we will come up here, go like this, and then let's go straight now. And we should be able to just connect up right there. Fantastic, nice. And so let's um, go back through. Of course, I had anarchy off, so we have a ton of little trees in there. Okay, and so now we have access to two metro stations which is fantastic and so let's jump in here and let's extend just one of these lines so we're going to grab our yellow line and we're going to come all the way down to the end we're going to go like that and then let's go ahead and create a stop right there stop right there fantastic and then let's come back up here and make sure that they have stops as well so we'll go like that go like that and the reason we're only doing the yellow is because it would just be redundant to have the blue come down here and so now what i need to do is go ahead and draw on some water pipes real quick Okay, water pipes in. And so now I do want to start doing some other apartment buildings over here as well. We really don't have a lot of residential. And so kind of sticking within that um, art deco is just going to be really hard for us to do unless we just keep replicating the same kind of buildings. I think we may be able to get away with one more of these on the opposite side. Um, just maybe they're like sister properties or something. Um, but then beyond that, I think we're going to do some more standard apartments, maybe some more modern ones. And so I think we will grab all of these and go ahead and copy this and just place it right here. So these are both just two sister properties. I really like the pool for these. So I think it's a really cool look for this area. So we'll go ahead and turn those and then we will jump into Rico and just make the, make sure that these are residential as well. Yeah, they are. Make sure these are too. And then I think these are all, oh, some of these are residential. Some of them are business. So I think that that's cool. Okay. So what I want to do is use these modular apartments that I just recently got off the Steam Workshop. And I think they are just awesome little assets. And so what we're going to do is jump into our three unit tab and go to these uh, roads with parking. And so we're going to go ahead and turn on snapping. We'll have this come up and then let's go ahead and do one up here as well. Yeah, we'll go like right there and let's go ahead and turn that in. Is that parallel with that road? It's very close. And so now let's jump back in to find it and start placing some of these down. So I want to place that right there. Let's go ahead and do a one unit road this way so we'll have this go let's have this go like right there and then we will go ahead and switch over to a couple of these other ones and i really like these buildings they're definitely more modern these would be like your newer kind of apartment buildings um, but i think they look really good i think they're just fantastic little assets and so i want to go ahead and place this here let's go ahead and do a couple more of the smaller ones let's um, place these here yeah we'll go like that and then let's um do some on the opposite side as well so we'll go like this, there we go. And let's actually copy that and have that go down. So we're gonna go ahead and grab those. It looks like I have some other building copied. So we'll grab that and retry. So we'll go like this and go all the way down. And these are at least where I'm from, um, pretty common to see like large apartment buildings like this where they're all kind of one style and it's just geared towards um, selling as many units as possible basically, but also creating like a nice atmosphere, making it look good. And, I think this looks great. So we're going to go through and uh, put in some little park areas. We'll probably even grab these, push them across, and let's go ahead and grab these and push these across. And let's do a park right in the middle, do a park right there, and then we'll do some pool areas as well. And it does look like I kind of messed up on our little anarchy. So let's go ahead and move that. So um, get this out of there. Oh, it's because collision is not on. So let's go ahead and turn back on collision and retry that. So we'll grab that. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do this one. 
Let's do these two, grab that, grab these, grab that. Yeah, it looks like those ones are probably the majority of them. Yeah, so I think that was it. And so now we will come in here and do some walking paths. So let's jump into our paths and we will come up over here and let's um, turn off snapping. Let's go ahead and do a walking path all the way across. Let's turn on anarchy. So we'll have that go like right there and then let's have this come up here as well and then connect up right there. Perfect. So it's like an extended parking lot or an extended uh, uh, sidewalk right there. And then let's come in here and remove all the trees from this area as well so we can get all those bushes out of here and just any trees that we really don't need. A lot of times whenever they uh, build something like this, they would come in and do their own landscaping. So, And then I think we will probably do a fence all the way around. So we'll come in here, grab our little park fence, have this basically follow all the way around since these tend to be gated off or walled off a lot of times. So we will come around, go into free form, have this follow the curve go like this and this is going to be an awesome little addition for our area I actually i really like doing these apartment complexes i think they're super fun and they're extremely realistic you know these are definitely things that you do see in cities and so we are going to ooh, we could do another one over here i feel like we're missing something so i think what we're gonna do is uh, grab this and put it over here and then that way we can do another park area right there if i feel like that would be good so let's go back into our fences grab this guy come up over here and then I think we will go ahead and curve it in, go like that. Perfect. Nice. And so now, man, we've really done a lot. We got this whole Art Deco area. We got an area for us to do some fountains, a little walking area, probably place a couple more buildings. But then along this top side, I'm going to do some concrete and then uh, we got to decorate this whole thing. I think this is going to be great. I honestly don't know if we're going to do any of the beach today. We might save it for another episode. There's a lot of detailing here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse and I will be right back with you guys.
Okay, so after many, many hours, I have finally finished. And I kept going back and forth on a couple things. So the first thing that I did for our big resort over here, I did a fun little outdoor kind of shopping center arcade. And then I did a bunch of these container kind of restaurants and stuff around here. I felt like it was just going to be a really cool feature for this area. Um, I did also do a stairs entryway and also a ramp that kind of leads into an invisible pathway. So people do end up walking back here. It's kind of cool. Um, I did retaining walls going all the way around. I did an awning in the front with some taxi stands and a couple more awnings just for people to kind of wait. Maybe they're waiting for somebody to come pick them up or something. Um, but then I added in a flamingo little exhibit back here, the flamingo enclosure, and I turned it into a whole little tropical area. This is something that's actually in Las Vegas. It's a like a little, they have flamingos at the flamingo. And so I thought it would be kind of cool just to have like a zoo or animal kind of enclosure like that. Then I did another little uh, restaurant awning thing over here, some planters. And then I did another one of our stair ramp guys right here. And then I did our um, police, fire, and medical. I t ended up tucking our medical underneath one of these buildings. And then for these buildings, I got a little crazy. I wanted to do some wood paneling all the way around. And then I did like a loading dock back here, like with a truck leaving, some containers kind of waiting, and then even like some packages and stuff like dumpsters. And then for our two uh, Marriott's, I did uh, just kind of replicated the this um, kind of pool area. I did raised um, little cabana areas over here with some with some chairs and then little couches over here. Just kind of cleaned up, make it look good. And then for our two big prominent buildings, I decided to go a little more minimalistic. I just did these three planters on either side to keep it, you know, symmetrical. And then just some planters and benches around. And then I did the cobblestone decals going all the way around. And then for our more kind of like hipster art deco uh, apartment buildings up here, I did a um, very similar thing to the resident sin. I did these raised platforms with the cabanas and then um, some little seats and then just some more couches over here, some grills that maybe people could kind of grill out or throw a party here or something. And so over here, same thing, just a couple of chairs, some umbrellas, and then I did planters going all the way around. I felt like it was just going to be really clean. And then because it's the same property, I just copy and pasted and did the same thing over here. And then for these areas, um, this is, you know, a more modern apartment area. And so I did a, a, ba a basketball court, a tennis court, a little playground. And then it's kind of funny, our playground doesn't really have any trees. I feel like that's definitely missing something. So if we just place down a couple of these, I feel like that'll be a little bit better. <laughs> um, but then I did some gazebos slash pergolas over here with some grills. Um, and then I did a little pergola back here too with another little gazebo kind of sitting area. And then a nice pool over here with some of the more um, like decayed wood look over here with some planters kind of sectioning off these little couch areas and some cabanas over here, nothing too crazy. Like this would be where the residents could rent them out. So for our art deco area, I began to do our beach and I think we're gonna end up working on this on the next episode. So I did a little kind of beach resort, like restaurant area over here with these little huts and then some palm trees. I did palm trees going all the way down. I did another little path up here with some organic and local produce, little shops along the way. So that maybe you're like rollerblading or um, kind of just walking up here. You have somewhere to go. I did leave some of it undone because I want to do this whole kind of beach area together. I think we're going to do something fun here with like a concert venue or something like that. And so I, I ended up putting in the, the little planters with palm trees. And then I did little uh, little tent kind of awnings coming out the front side of most of them because I was looking at Miami and it was something that's very common with the Art Deco district there, which is the most prominent in the world from what I've read, um, is that they have little patio seating in almost all the restaurants. And I thought that it was just going to be a really cool thing to have. And then for our little condo over here, I did um, some some pools with some little uh, awnings again, some parking. And you know what? I think that this looks good. Even with a lot of this empty because it's beach, I kept going back and forth like, what should I do? Should I leave it? Or So go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think if we should fill this in or just leave it beach. I like that it's sand. I think it looks really good. And a lot of times with these kind of beachfront areas, that's how it is. Like the sand literally comes right up to the sidewalk. Um, and I thought that it looked really good. We still have a lot of room to be able to grow and expand this area, but I think that this is a great addition for this area. And so we have a lot that we can do. Um, but go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think this looks fantastic. I really like the Art Deco. This is the biggest Art Deco district I've ever done. And if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.